Hello there, everybody. It's your Star Wars dad, and welcome to the very first in a new series. It's going to be Galaxy of Heroes New Player Tips. We're going to start off with number one here. We're going to talk about allies. People are asking me all the time about all sorts of stuff in the game. What's the best way to farm? What do I do? A question I got recently was, how do I finish these hard nodes? Because they could be, somebody couldn't get through the, you know, what's the best team to finish hard node 9B? And my answer was, you got to have good allies. So guys, let's take a look at it. Alrighty then, like, subscribe, join the channel if you're so inclined. So, here's the deal, guys. The best way for you to get through those hard nodes, especially as you start the game, and if you're playing free-to-play or, or you're a dolphin, you're spending a little money here and there, you don't have a giant roster, how do you get through those those hard nodes? As you come upon them, they're really difficult to clear. When you, you Even when you do it, you're not coming out with a full team, so it's not three stars, you can't sim it. It's just a pain in the rear, right? So how do you do it? Well, here's the answer, and I'm gonna show you how this works. You gotta get big honkin' allies. You gotta go make allies from people that are in your guild that have big rosters, that have galactic legends, people that have a, uh, a, uh, what is his name? What, oh my, General Veers. Holy cow, little, little old man itis, little, little, uh, little TR, uh, I forget, I can't even talk. Can't talk tonight, it's been a long day, a long night, having fun. Anyway, uh, a, a relic KRU, people that have KRU, people that have all, you want, you want allies, relic Palpatine. You want allies that have these big old characters in their roster. Then you can use those characters, you're gonna borrow those characters to finish the, 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 the pardon me, the hard notes. I can't even talk today. I'm gonna go through and play one dark side hard node, one light side hard node on level nine. So let's start with I, what I think is the actual most important node in the game. One of them, not, well, it's up there. It's one of the most important nodes in the game and it is Bosk. Now what dark side team I'm gonna use? I'm gonna go into the battle with Bosk. Um, now I got an option here. See the people that are my allies? We got Relic Dooku, we have Relic KRU, Relic Darth Revan, um, and on down. I got some choices here. So what I'm going to do is I want to go through this without taking any losses, right? I got to get this done. And my best option for that is going to be Relic Darth Revan. Now, if you got multiple allies, you can plug them into multiple teams. I don't want to use my big teams here. I want to show you guys how this works with a smaller team. So here I have my Geos. I got Geoboot Alpha. He is five star, gear 10. Spy is gear nine. Uh, Sunfac is gear 9, Geo Soldier's gear 11, Pago the Lesser is gear 9. That's my best dark side team to come in and really demo this with. So let me show you how this works. I, I haven't tested this, so I'm hoping I come out without losing any characters. Otherwise, you, can <laughs> you might be wondering what you're doing watching this video. All right, let's see what happens here. So what you're going to see is immediately the kind of impact that Darth Revan can have. And he can have it on any any team that you use here. So boom, our Geos are going to kick in. And, and yeah, Geos are a really good team to use. But hey, everybody, by the way, this is a slow Darth Revan, it seems like. So I'm going to go ahead and use a basic over here that he's going to kill it. So what Darth Revan is going to do is he's going to immediately wipe out everybody in this node. In a minute, what I'm going to use, I have two more of his abilities to use. If I get to him, this is a slow Darth Revan, boys and girls. I would think he would have already taken like three or four turns. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do in the first. Well, uh, all right, so we're going to kill this guy. And Darth Revan is slowing down these geos are just taking all okay. So the first ability I'm gonna use here, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna save them both for the last round, because I think I'm okay here. Like you should make some judgment calls. Are you doing okay? These you know, these characters look really hard and they're difficult to clear if your your characters are low level, but you, you saw mine. They were all like we had five star, we had gear nine, gear ten, gear eight, you know. So now, the Geos are really good. You could do this with other teams as well. Just get that big old thumper in there like Darth Revan, and he can take care of business. Uh, we're going to focus in on, on Scavenger Ray here. Boy, I, I don't know. The Geos are actually doing a really good job <laughs> without Darth Revan. Hey, go farm some Geos if you want to clear these nodes. Maybe that's the lesson today. But I'll show you what Darth Revan will do in a second. Let me get over here. We're going to save a little bit of work for and a little bit of room for him. I'm trying just to use basics so we get to his turn. The Geos are actually my... Okay, so here we go. So here's the first ability I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and use his Insanity. This is going to inflict fear on the character he hits plus the leader. But if he hits the leader, it goes on everybody on the team. So boom, there you go. Finn gets Insanity and Ray gets... And unfortunately, i got to hit Finn here because he's taunting. And next what I'm going to use is 
Uh, Darth Revan's Force Lightning. You'll see it in a second. It's going to be a brutal destruction of this group, and you can see how, and you'll see how a character like Darth Revan, who's relic, when your characters are all gear seven, eight, nine, whatever, how he can just win an entire level all by himself here in a second. Hang on, if he gets to go, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep all these guys alive. And okay, here we go. So here's his force lightning. I'll put it on one speed. This probably would have taken them all out. Cub, boom. Okay, we're really close there. Now you see what this does. I bring in Darth Revan. I may have been able to finish this with my Geos, but if my Geos were lower level or you have a lower level dark side team, a character like Darth Revan can help you come in and blow it up and clear it off with three stars, so then you can just start simming it after that. Let's go do a light side battle as well. I'm going to use my Phoenix on the light side because they're at my lower. Oh, whoa. It's my reset time, everybody. So let's do the same thing here. Get those big allies. Get them from your guild. Get them from people you know that have introduced you to the game. You need those big allies out there to play with. Who do I want on this node? Not, not a lot. This is actually gonna gonna cost me 20 energy for my Sith Eternal Emperor farm. I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, let's let's farm. Well, you know what? I've only got one star in Short Trooper. Let's get the three stars in Short Trooper. So, so let me put them out here. Uh, where am I, Phoenix? Okay, so I have CLS Commander Luke Skywalker. I got a Padme, but she's not high enough. I have Bastila Sean at Relic Three. Jedi Knight Luke. Oh, ho, 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 ho. do you guys want to watch Jedi Knight Luke? I think that's where we're, let's. Bastila would be a really good option because if I go into Phoenix, there's two Jedi. She's gonna give them a bunch of protection. That'd be a really good choice for you. But you know what, guys? I just to demonstrate this, you want to see Jedi Knight Luke go here. So we're gonna use Jedi Knight Luke. There he is. There's my Phoenix, all loaded up. Let's get in there and see what happens. A ah, little bit of tea there. Okay. So let's watch Jedi Knight Luke in action. Hopefully my Phoenix don't die here. It's not a, it is an ignominious start. So if I, this calls all the Jedi in, right? All Jedi allies to assist. You know what, let's go ahead and stun everybody. I'm gonna do that. And, and I, I, I maybe shouldn't have done that, but can I call in Luke? Yes, I can, all right. There's Luke with one shot. Um, let's go ahead and call in Luke for another one shot. You can see how he's helping you clear the roster here. He's doing all the work and your Phoenix are just sitting by watching him. Here's gonna another one shot. He's just gonna one shot everything on this level, guys. Every time he gets a turn, whatever character he's facing will be dead. And what we're gonna do in a second here, I'm gonna try and just go through the, these Jedi Knight Luke basics here on this level. So let's do this, one shot. We'll see if my Phoenix can stay alive. They're, they're uh, boy, boy, this is a tough, this is tougher than that dark side level, I think, or, or it's just a matter of uh, my bugs are better than my Phoenix, so there you go. Okay, we almost got that guy out. Come on, Chopper, there we go. Oh, I should've used that on the full health guy. That was a mistake. I should've gone, and that was a mistake too. I should've stunned that guy. Wake up, Nooch. Nooch to asleep. Okay, there was my counters. Take this guy out. All right, now I'm going to get to Jedi Knight Luke. I'm going to show you what he can do with a couple of different moves here. Hopefully nobody passes away just to prove my point. But you can see how I can get this done if I'm not fooling around, right? All right, let's go ahead and call in Jedi Knight Luke on... Let's get Boba's... Um... Yeah, so let's get his thing out of the way. Let's go ahead and dial in on... Boba Fett and knock him out. Now what happens is Jedi Knight Luke gets a turn. I don't have the stun available. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. There we go. Um, I don't, I do not want to taunt with Chopper because he's really low on health right now. I'm getting, it's a little, little dicey out of here. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, uh, foresight. Hold on. I kind of want to taunt with Kanan right now, but let's call in Luke for the assist and we're about to get this done. Kaboom. And one more shot there, and here's Luke. Well, uh, just for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and use his special here. He calls on an assistant from Ezra. He doesn't need it, he just ended him. There you go, guys. For new players, here's my new player tip number one. Go get yourself some good, strong, hearty allies. Uh, they will help you in the game. And let me give you my ally code here. You can reach out to me. I um. I, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start shedding some of my big... I don't need my big allies anymore because I've, I've cleared all the nodes. The nodes are done. They're finished. I don't really need that many big allies anymore. So I'm going to start clearing them out. If you guys want to send me an ally request, it's 946-518-851 on this account. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on my other account while we're talking here. 
So you guys can send me an ally request on these accounts. Here you'd have Palpatine. On the light side, you'd probably get Anakin, Jedi Anakin, because I've got him relic. They can serve you really well as far as cleaning this off. You might get Darth Vader, but I think you're end up with Palpatine, because he's the one that I saw when I was looking at you know, other people's stuff too. Um, let me pull it up on my other roster. It's it's loading. It's loading. You see there? We're getting the screen. So on my other account, on the Star Wars Dad account, you're going to go in, and the number is, get ready to write this down, 561-656-327. I'm going to clear some space for all you guys tonight if you want to get an ally request for me. But, you know, guys, stick with your guild. Request it from your guild. Get those in there, because I can't... You know, if a bunch of you are watching this, I can't get a thousand allies. I can only have fifty in each account. So, you know, get in there if you want to request allies. But use your guild, use your friends, use people you know. Get those big allies. They'll help you clear all those nodes. Help. Hopefully, this helps all you new players out there. Um, and I'll come out with some more stuff here soon. But guys, have a great day. And of course, always remember, Nooch too good. Commander, execute order sixty-seven. Join the channel, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, <laughs> watch more videos.